Oh, hey there, Bruiser Nation. Raise those anchors and get ready to wear the official merch of Bruiser Nation Productions. Visit BruiserNationProductions.KenCustom.com and show the world your love of the Bruiser Nation as you go about your day in style. We have Bruise Cruise podcast and to the turnbuckle tees, hoodies, jackets, shoes, bags, and even pillows. You heard that right, pillows. That's BruiserNationProductions.KenCustom.com. Once again, BruiserNationProductions.KenCustom.com. And remember, Bruiser Nation, stay good, because I'm always good. Hey there, Bruiser Nation. Raise those anchors and get ready to wear the official merch of Bruiser Nation Productions. Visit BruiserNationProductions.KenCustom.com and show the world your love of the Bruiser Nation as you go about your day in style. We have Bruise Cruise podcast and to the turnbuckle tees, hoodies, jackets, shoes, bags, and even pillows. You heard that right. Pillows. That's BruiserNationProductions.KenCustom.com. Once again, BruiserNationProductions.KenCustom.com. And remember, Bruiser Nation, stay good, because I'm always good. Oh, hey there, Bruiser Nation. Raise those anchors and get ready to take a ride on the Bruise Cruise. This week on the Bruise Cruise podcast, our G1 Climax 30 coverage continues. From October 8th, 2020, emanating from the ZIP Arena in Okoyama, Japan, Haruki Gato versus Yoshihashi. As Yoshihashi has already made his way to the ring, Yoki Gato, Haruki Gato makes his entrance who walks away with the points and for the first time in this G1 Climax tournament an elimination may be on the horizon as Yoshihashi still not enough points to move on if he loses this matchup with Haruki Gato. Ruki Gatos has made it into the ring poses for the crowd. Both members of the Chaos Stable, will this affect their standings with the group? Or are they able to put personal closeness aside for business and not take it personal if it gets personal in the middle of that ring? Goto heavily taped on his right arm. The bell has rung. Here we go. Will that be Yoshihashi's strategy here this evening? Go after the right arm. Bow and elbow tie up right in the center of the ring. Both men jockeying for position. Hashi is facing elimination if he loses. He's going to need to pull out all the stops. He's had a great tournament, just not on the victorious side. Knife Edge chop against the ropes from Hashi to Goto. But some fantastic matches throughout this tournament. Bone Tayo att- attempt kicked in the gut by Hashi. Backed up off the ropes. Irish Whip switch over to a headlock now by Gato to Hashi. Hashi backing him off the ropes, attempts, shoves him off, bounces off the ropes, shoulder block by both. Hashi bounces back. Gato bounces back, hits a hit, 
counters a hip toss, bounces off the ropes, shoulder block taking Hashi down that time. Gato is the bigger of these two competitors today. Tossed into the white corner, boots to the midsection by Gato to Hashi and a clubbing forearm to the back. Irish whip from corner to corner. Char Gato charges, takes a hard boot right to that injured arm. Arm ringer hammers down with the elbow. Hammerlock thrown into the top corner. Really working on it now. Arm breaker here delivered by Hashi to Gato. Just waiting for his opportunity to attack that arm and it showcased in a charging Gato. Hashi needs to stay on him, keep this control he may have, weaken that arm even more to stay in this tournament. No quarter being held between Chaos members. Snapmare Hashi to Gato driving the knee to the mid back area of Gato, having him really pulled back far, almost in a reclining position. Cover. No, no. Gato's fighting it off. Looking for the key lock. Hashi is. On top of Gato. He's got him in the key lock. Drops down. Trying, attempting an arm breaker. Short arm scissors delivered by Hashi after Gato had fought out of the arm breaker. Really stretching that arm. Causing immense pressure on the, the ligaments and the joints of his right arm. Drag, using his street strength to try to drag himself to the ropes. Hashi continues the pressure on the wrist, throwing both arms in between the legs, pulling back, wrenching down. Finally, Gatto gets to the ropes. Boots the back of the head. Another one delivered by Hashi to Gato. Slapping Gato in the back of the head. Another slap. A third and a fourth. Gato is incensed. Grabbing by the hair, forcing him back into the corner. Hard arm shot. Distracted jaw jacking with the referee was Gato. Took an uppercut to the arm and now an elbow to the wrappings. Of the top side of the arm. Hashi locks the head in a side headlock. Moving to a vertical suplex position. Gato drops his weight. Forcing Hashi to try the vertical suplex again. Gato is dropping his weight again. Trying to counter this vertical suplex. In immense pain. And he gets Hashi up. But not enough strength. Hashi gets back down to his feet, delivers the suplex float over by Gato, backs off into the corner. Ch Hashi charges. Gato dodges. Side suplex delivered after the chop attempt by Hashi. Gato needs this break in the action. Try to get some more feeling in that arm. Stretch it out. Reduce the offense. From Yoshi Hashi. He may need to go at it with a lot of left handed strikes in this one at this point. That arm is a complete mess. Charges Hashi, spinning heel kick in the corner, running bulldog by Gato. Cover one, two. Hashi kicks out at two. Gato's keeping his cool, not looking too frustrated at the moment. Got him in the on top of his shoulders in a fireman's carry. Hashi delivers three elbows to the face, drops behind in a waist lock. Switching elbows, first a back elbow with the right, then changed his mind because it hurt like hell. Three back elbows to Hashi. What a swinging neckbreaker that was, or a flipping neckbreaker more than... Then a swinging neckbreaker delivered by Hashi to Gato, taking control of this matchup once again. Trying to shake the cobweb loose from the assault that Gato was able to get in.
Both men back to their feet. Hashi's tell him to keep on coming. Running. Chop delivered to Gato. Iris whip from corner to corner. Gato tries to counter. Short arm chop by Hashi. Spinning heel kick by the by Hashi to the gut. Caught in the fireman's carry. Flipped around and dropped in a Harishu Maroshi. Dropping his head right on his knee from the Death Valley driver position. Grasping Hashi by the hair. He can feel the victory coming his way if he continues the assault to Hashi. And almost in a dragon suplex or dragon sleeper position. Ducks under the clothesline. Back elbow to fight off the waistlock of Gato. Follows him off the ropes. Both men bouncing off the ropes and charging clotheslines. Both men still on their feet. Hashi charges back with another one. Cover one, two. Gato kicks out at almost three. That was two and three quarters, if not closer. Gato is spent, beaten, down, arm hurting. But how can Hashi keep him down? He continues the assault, but to no avail, cannot get the three count. Perfect plex attempt by Hashi. Gato blocks it. Three hard elbows, spinning clothesline attempt, ducked by Hashi. Dragon suplex by Hashi to Gato. Gato is loopy. Hashi bounces off the ropes, running double knees to the face cover. One. Two, Gato kicks out at two. Reverse butterfly here to a to Gato from Hashi. Still maintaining pressure on that bad arm, pulling way back. Hashi's trying to keep his arm down from being completely spread out. And to no avail, Hashi is able to gain control, pull way back, showing the wingspan and the pain that Gato must be in. Reaching for the ropes with his feet and his arm almost there, but Hashi pulls him back to the center of the ring. The butterfly lock is hooked. Gato's going to have to reach way, way down to get out of this butterfly lock. Normally, perhaps not, but as much damage as that arm was already done before this matchup took place, it has been Hashi's go-to assault is the right arm, and now a double wrist lock combining the butterfly lock. Referee right in the face of Gato, waiting for the submission. Gato continues to fight, scooting across the ring. Hashi's still in complete control of Gato. He is barely inching. There he goes. He's finally able to break free from the left arm. Sleeper hold applied by Hashi, trying to maintain the pressure and keep Gato off the ropes. Gato back to his feet. Standing sleeper position. Backstabber. Backstabber by Yoshi Hashi. No quarter shown by Yoshi Hashi. Fisherman's Buster attempt. Turn it into a vertical suplex. Cover. One, two, and Gato kicks out at two. Like a stalling fisherman buster sideplex. And yet Gato was still able to get his shoulder off the mat before the ref counted to three. Going back to the butterfly lock, it looks like is Yoshihashi. Gato is not allowing himself to get caught. Full Nelson, up, maybe going for the dragon plex now, going for the pump handle bomb. Gato fires, fights off of it. Three elbows with that damaged right arm. Float over, twist through. Death Valley driver position. Elbow drop to a falling body of Yoshihashi from the Death Valley driver position. 
Yoshihashi feeling the impact from the ring and the devastating elbow delivered from Yoshigato. Can Yoshigato finally take extended control in this matchup and move forward in this tournament, knocking out Yoshihashi? Gato is not up for elimination. He will continue regardless, but the numbers matter. Those points give you a higher seed. More premier matches, more money. You want those points. And you definitely want to be able to say, I was the first one to eliminate someone in the 30th edition of the G1 Climax. Trading elbows from kneeling positions in the center of the ring, these men. That was a rough one by Yoshihashi. Gato delivers another one with his right arm. Not a lot of mustard on it. Oh, what a stiff shot by Hashi. Stiff shot by Yoshi Gato. Returning in kind back and forth. Both men, Yoshihashi delivering three, four, five, six consecutive elbows, trying to gain control, and a vicious, vicious elbow delivered by Haruki Gato with the right arm, sending Yoshihashi crumbling to the mat, but falling back in pain against the ropes. He is ready to finish it off after that one. Second wind, here we go for Haruki Gato. Hashi back to his feet, goes for a roundhouse to the chest, hard right hand by Hashi to Gato, bounces off the ropes, blocks the arm with a double axe handle, spins around and eats a clothesline by Yoshihashi. Dragon suplex attempt, pump handle bomb instead, countered by Gato. Dragon sleeper position, looks like he was going for a GTR. Headbutt delivered by Hashi to slow the momentum. Hashi's on wobbly legs. Gato can barely get up. Barely even stirring there here at the G1 Climax Tournament. Yashi using his strength to lift Gato and a head vid. Oh my God, what a headbutt under the chin from Haruki Gato to Yoshi Hashi drawing him in, playing possum, thinking that he was down and out, but not to the knowledge of Hashi. He stood right up, delivered a devastating, devastating out of nowhere headbutt. Hard right hand. Now both men trading right hands. Gato nailed Hashi, sending him down to one knee. Hard roundhouse kick. Got him caught in the dragon sleep dragon sleeper position. Falls over with a clothesline breaking his back. Cover one, two, three. Hiroshi Gato defeats. Yoshihashi eliminating Yoshihashi from the G1 Climax Tournament. Bruiser Nation, what a matchup that was. Fighting tooth and nail the entire matchup. Haruki Gato could not be denied. Heavily taped shoulder worked on by Yoshihashi throughout the matchup, but yet Haruki Gato was able to fight off the pain, deliver his GTR, and eliminate Yoshihashi from the G1 Climax Tournament. Thanks for tuning in, Bruiser Nation. Don't forget to check me out every Tuesday from 5 to 8 on To The Turnbuckle, Facebook Live through Score On Air, Score On Air Network, Heel Turn Wrestling in association with Bruiser Nation Productions, as well as click, follow, subscribe to the Bruise Cruise podcast wherever you get your favorite podcasts. And if you'd like, watch the matches with me on the Bruiser Nation Productions YouTube page. The, na- the matches are always named. Hop on your, G- on your new Japan Pro Wrestling website or app. Watch the matches as I bring my commentary style to your ears that's right the bruise cruise podcast the only podcast that brings you pro wrestling for your ears and until next time bruiser nation stay good because i'm always good